And now with over 3 million hits, it's time to defy gravity again. All we need according to this video is four speakers, a pile of little polystyrene balls, oh, and some science. Yoichi Ochiai, a postgraduate at the University of Tokyo, is responsible for the experiment. These little things are being held in the air by sound waves. That's amazing. Fantastic. It seems completely unbelievable. What is going on? It's as though there's no gravity where the balls are hovering. But how is that possible? These guys are manipulating these small objects by using high-frequency ultrasound waves, which we cannot hear. Sound actually travels through the air as a wave in a series of high-pressure and low-pressure areas. To levitate something, you need to create a standing wave. That's where you get two waves from different directions interfering and creating this static pattern of high-pressure areas, of low-pressure areas, and neutral areas called nodes. These polystyrene balls collect just under one of those nodes, which is on top of an area of really high pressure in the standing wave. In those high pressure areas, the molecules are moving around so fast they create an upward force. It balances out the gravity pulling down on the polystyrene balls and keeps them floating in space. They have these four speakers, and two speakers are facing each other in one direction, two speakers are facing each other in the other direction. And so the obsolete facing speakers create the standing waves, and what they can do is they can actually manipulate the frequency, and that moves the nodes, and as the nodes move, the polystyrene balls also move. So by focusing powerful waves of sound, Yoichi can trap light objects in an area where gravity is canceled. Very cool. I can't wait to see this technology in 20 years' time. The ability to actually levitate a beer and bring it over to your hand. It's going to be very popular in Australia.